Hey guys, uh, we're out here in the garage working on the 77, and uh, like I told you, we're going to pull the starter out. Now, I've had a few people uh, give me some suggestions, um, maybe unplug the, or well, unbolt the rack on the bottom. I crawled underneath, and I took a look at that, and uh, uh, it just seems like the way this car is put together down here, I think it would be more more work for me, since I've already done it this way a couple of times to unbolt the rack and take the cross member out and all that stuff. So I think is what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it the way I've got it, uh, the way I've been doing it. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what I got so far. And uh, we're working on taking the header. We got the, uh, the valve cover off and uh, we're going to put the car up in the air and we're going to take the exhaust loose, pull the header out. So let's take a peek. All right, so you can see I'm under the car and we've got the header. Got this part of the exhaust unhooked, and uh, you can see I've got the X pipe, two and a half inch some some exhaust. Fits up there pretty nice. So we just took this out, this little uh, bent pipe here. Took the, it's real easy. It's just bracketed on. So we took that. It's loose right now. Okay, and you can see here's the starter. So this cross member i don't think we're if i remember we don't have to take this off but we can get to this pretty easily now you can see so what i did was i took this motor mount bolt off and there's one right up here now i will tell you this one here is a little unpleasant to get to uh, i used a swivel on my socket extension now getting it out isn't as bad but getting it back in is kind of a pain in the ass so that's the uh, last time I had to put that back in you can see I don't know if you can tell it's a little uh, focus it's a little off because of the rubber pushes the motor mount away from the actual round part where the threads go in or the hole so I had to take a breaker bar and push that back and get the bolt back up in there to get it started. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but we got her done. Uh, so those two bolts are loose. So now I'm just gonna get, now is what I do is I'll get my floor jack and we'll lift this, uh, this side of the motor up, drop that header down. And uh, as you can see, this part of the header, this was the one that comes up and goes up right up here. It's the separate piece that kind of goes underneath. Um, I'm not, this car doesn't do wheelies, so I really don't have to worry about the front end coming off the ground and slamming back down and crushing this tube. So that's not that big a deal. Some people don't like these, but uh, I suppose if I had a car that would do wheelies, I probably wouldn't uh, really want these because this tube would be smashed like a pancake probably when that came back down, I don't know. So, and I wanted to also show you that uh, I put a transmission uh, pan on here with a drain plug and uh, it's really nice if you have to change a transmission filter to just drain the fluid because anybody who's ever taken all these bolts around here with this full pan what a pain in the ass it is you know fluid starts leaking all around and you got to get this side and then you just kind of let it lean and let all the fluid come out nope this and this also this plug is also a magnet so if there is any kind of metal in there uh, which hopefully it's not, but it it, it uh, will collect on this. Pull this out, drain it, take the pan off, change the filter. Much easier. This thing was only like $24, so it's really not that expensive. So, all right, so now we're going to jack up this motor, get the header out, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so the valve cover's out. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. A few bolts, it's real easy. It comes right off. And... Um, you can see, took the bolts out for the uh, for the headers, took the spark plugs out, and uh, you can see this is the uh, Headman header, so it's in two pieces. So this front tube will actually come out separate. So this will be its own piece, and then these three will come out through the bottom. This one's real easy, it just pops, pulls out and goes down. So that's all loose. 
So now we're gonna go down, we're gonna lift the car up, we're gonna go down and take the, the rest of the exhaust on this header side loose, pull the header down through, take the motor mount off and uh, jack the motor up. And then we can then we can access the bolts. These bolts here, we can get these bolts for the starter, get the, get the engine jacked up and then that starter will pop right up. It's really, uh, now that I've done this a few times, it's really not that bad. Um, it just takes a while. So we'll, uh, we'll go underneath the car and we'll pull the uh, exhaust off. All right, so here we go. We got the headers out. We got the header out. It came out, I had to jack the motor up. You can see I got a board on it. We got the floor jack on there. And uh, the header's out and the starter's loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that starter up and then we're going to uh, pull the starter up and then I'm gonna take the bolts loose off the cylinder. I can get that starter out of here and get the other one in and then we can start putting it all back together. So, got that. You see there's the header and then there's that odd L tube that comes down and goes over the front. So I know some of you don't like those headers but they do sound pretty nice. And like I said before, if you're not riding any wheelies, you're not really gonna hurt anything. So uh, so let's get that starter up out here and uh, see if we can get the next one in. All right, so this is the uh, the next starter going in. The other one's out and I just hooked this one up. We're sitting in here and I'm getting ready to drop it down in. We're gonna drop it in, bolt it up, and uh, we're gonna see if it turns over before I do anything else. All right. Okay, the new starter's in, and slid that sucker down there, put it in place, and I, this time I actually did, I pulled the whole motor mount out this time, just and then slid the starter, it was so much easier. A couple bolts that motor mounts out, it's not that big a deal. So, slid the starter in there, tightened her all down, it's all hooked up, so uh, I pulled the ignition coil wire off, that way I'm gonna give it a try. We'll try and start it. Not really start it, just turn it over and make sure that that starter is gonna work because the last time I didn't do that and I put everything back together and it didn't work. So uh, my buddy's like, yeah, take the ignition coil wire off and try and turn it over before you put it back together so you don't want to do this again. So we'll see if that works. We'll fire it up. Well, not really. We're just going to spin it, make sure everything's good. We'll put it all back together. And uh, then we can start taking the rest apart. We can get the intake, the carburetor, the cam. We'll get all that put in there, and this thing will be sounding pretty pretty badass. It sounds pretty good now, just with uh, the way this engine is. But I think a cam and some lifters and uh, will really wake this thing up a little bit. So... Still isn't gonna ride wheelies, but it'll get out of its own way. So, so that's that. Hey, thanks for watching the videos, guys. I appreciate you uh, checking it out, and uh, maybe it taught you something. Uh, I know uh, a lot of suggestions I get from you guys help teach me some things. I don't know everything about these cars, but I do know a lot, and I've been working on them for several years. I've built several of them, and I'll probably build several more. So. Uh, Thanks for checking it out. Uh, the next video will be the cam and the intake and the lifters, and that should be interesting. So hopefully that will teach a little bit, be a little informative, and uh, hopefully I'll learn something while we're doing it too. So uh, please like, tag, and subscribe to my video, and I'll see you next time.